Welcome to the channel everyone, I'm Scratch, this is another Raid Shadow Legends video, hope you guys are having an amazing day, and yes guys, we are back in business, still alive, if you guys uh, saw the picture that I posted on the community tab, and my god, we have quite a few different things to cover, new update, most probably will be released tomorrow, uh, we're gonna get a champion rebalance on some of the mythical champions, we're gonna get a couple of uh, new random things that honestly, I was just not expecting to, <laughs> uh, to see them anytime soon, Tons of different events going on at the moment. We had a 2x, 10x uh, on Freya. Uh, we had the same thing for uh, Odin. And the fusion is kind of like in full swing. I know a lot of you guys decided to go for Thor. He is an amazing, amazing uh, Hydra damage dealer. And just in general, I do think that he is going to be a very strong uh, damage dealer. I am currently on the test server, guys. I don't have access to Thor anymore, but you guys know the drill. Probably you watched some of the previous videos and I will do another video once I'm going to get a champion with a five star soul and all the good stuff just to kind of like uh, see what uh, uh, what he can do if I push him at the, at the limits, you know, but so far, awesome, awesome champion. Let me know in the comments down below if you are actually going for uh, the fusion. Now in today's video, guys, I want to cover some of the changes coming to the game and I want to talk about the new freaking meta, okay, because yes. Mazamel will be the new Mera. She is just going to be absolutely disgusting. She is getting the treatment of Sigfrant, more or less. The treatment of Queen Eva. This skill right here was already pretty strong on paper. The main issue was not having good multipliers. Now, it will ignore 15% of the target's defense on top of everything else that it does. And it will have better multipliers. So expect to see Mazamels everywhere in arena because she is going to be the meta if you block revive on their nuker uh, is going to be pretty much game over for the opponent and she will have a lot of firepower i will be doing a live stream guys by the time you're seeing this video i should be live as well so feel free to uh, come and check that out we're gonna go over and check each one of these uh, mythical champions that got a buff and of course, we're going to do a couple of different uh, shenanigans. Most probably, we're going to go over uh, the uh, competitors that join in the competition for uh, the exclusive Odin avatar. So we're going to pick the five winners as well, uh, if you are interested in that too. But Mazamel is going to be the new Mera, guys, or part of the, of the Mera. Everything basically will get the damage increased. And that's what these mythical champions were missing. Now... I have a theory, okay? A thin foil hat theory. I feel like Plarium did all this intentionally. As you guys remember, I've mentioned it from the very beginning. They are releasing weak mythical champions or weakish mythical champions to start with, just to kind of like uh, allow people to, to have that transition, you know, and just to make the mythical champions don't look too OP uh, that are basically eclipsing the legendary champions. And as you guys probably know by now, we have tons of super OP mythical champions in the game. Galatir, uh, you have, of course, uh, not Ashnar, unfortunately. You have Krixia, uh, you have Toshiro, which is crazy, crazy good in Hydra. Lady Mikage, very powerful, nice, Arbaiz, very, very strong champions. And I feel like Plarium did the whole thing in the following way, intentionally. Bring them in weak with the idea of buffing them later on, intentionally knowing that they are weak. Like, uh, the people that are basically creating these champions, the people that are uh, releasing them in the game as they are, they know exactly uh, how impactful these champions can be with weak multipliers, with strong multipliers. So I really think that they've done it intentionally and just slowly they will buff m pretty much more, uh, most of them. And like this, they're kind of like uh, not instantly making everybody go crazy thinking that that's it legendaries are dead you know so i feel like this was their end game you know i i definitely think that this is the 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 whole idea behind it now there are a couple of different things as i mentioned if we're quickly going to go over the patch notes right here guys so it does seem like we got quite a few different changes on the ui and the game looks pretty different you're gonna see on the test server now this is something that i was not expecting to see badges they're not really giving you anything in terms of uh rewards or stuff like this uh, they will be at the challenges part uh, as you may notice right here and uh, basically you're going to be able to collect some of these 
uh, badges by doing uh, crazy things, including including 5 million score in CVC or uh, be the top dog. That's actually a good name for it. So you're getting badges. Uh, on top of it, they are actually doing another thing that I was not expecting to see. A player profile overhaul. So that's how your new profile will uh, look. So if you go in Arena, for example, and you click on uh, one of the players from there, as you used to do before, that's how the player profile will look from here on. It's actually much, much better, in my opinion. Uh, it is bugged at the moment on the test server. We cannot select what champions we want to put right here as the... Um, main favorite uh, champion you can select your favorite badges which again seems to be bugged on the test server you're going to be able to see pretty much everything the best cvc tournament uh, score uh, the demon lord the hydra i'm not sure exactly how it will work for the demon lord and the hydra but we're going to check uh, the patch notes in a second tag team arena live arena classic arena so this makes it much easier uh, to recruit people as well because uh, when you are recruiting somebody, they can always lie, share a screenshot with a CVC score that's not theirs or uh, whatever, you know, like Arena or Hydra, etc. But this right here will kind of like uh, show the truth, basically. And it does look much, uh, much better than before. I don't think you are able to see the full uh, total power of an account. Like, um, I think we used to... Actually, no, we were not able to see it before for... Uh, for any of the other players except our own account in terms of uh, what power comes from artifacts, what powers comes from champions, etc. So even now, I don't think you can actually see it even for uh, our own accounts. But this is actually much, much better. Now, there isn't much else that is changing in terms of um, uh, updates coming to the game. That's something to actually uh, change the game, except the new UI. And the new UI looks pretty freaking uh, uh, weird, okay? I, I think I need some time to get used to it because when you go on your champions, the avatars are much smaller. Uh, then when you go at the gear again, the gear is much smaller than it used to be. I feel like on PC, it's just perfect. Uh, on mobile, it might be a bit too small. Uh, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to have to basically wait for tomorrow and see. That's when I'm expecting the patch to go, uh, to go live, guys. And apparently they've done some UI changes to battles as well. So I haven't done any battles on the test server just yet. But if we're going to head over to the spider dungeon, I'm quickly going to notice if anything, uh, if anything is different. So let's, uh, let's actually pay attention to it. Okay, so it, it actually doesn't look that different than uh, it used to be before, right? Maybe just a little bit, but not by a lot. I feel like the champions are a bit smaller. I feel like it's just the zoom in on uh, uh, on the camera or zoom out rather than uh, than zoom in, which I guess is a is a good thing, especially for the spider dungeon. It was pretty annoying when your champions were like this on the screen, you know, and uh, you were not able to see everything uh, properly. But everything else looks uh, pretty similar, except this. Look at this. <laughs> You're seeing all of your freaking champions in three uh, in three different lines right now, and um, in a way, it's good because it's much easier to kind of like. Uh, uh, have access to a big variety of uh, champions without uh, scrolling and stuff, but it will take some time to uh, to get used to it. They are much smaller in here, which honestly is fine because uh, as long as you've been playing for a while, it's going to be pretty straightforward and uh, you're going to easily recognize the, the champions. But these are the changes coming to the game. Now, I do want to talk about the rebalance, guys, because that's the main, uh, the main thing that I kind of like uh, care about it. And uh, a lot of you guys probably care about that too. So Mazamel, as I mentioned, she will be part of the Mera, guys. And she will be a force to reckon with. The A1 will have the damage multipliers increased. And to be honest with you guys, the multipliers uh, on the A1 were fairly good. Uh, let me just quickly check. So uh, if we're going to go right here, you see the A1 had a 3.8. Fairly decent. Uh, is this Mazamel? Yeah, why is she placing a defense... Uh... Okay, defense down debuff. For a second, I thought that was defense up. I was like, what? Is that Mazamel? Then the A2 had a 2.6, which kind of like equals a 5.2 uh, with a double hit. Was not that strong. It's definitely not a godlike multiplier at 2.6, in my opinion. Uh, not ignoring defense. But right now, she will ignore 15% of the target's defense with each one of the hits unconditionally, which is great. And she will have better multipliers. I would expect to see a 3.0 multiplier in here. I feel like that's what's going to happen with this. 
Uh, I'm not expecting to see anything crazier than uh, than that, but honestly, is uh, is good enough, you know. And the second form was not bad, but again, the multipliers were pretty weak. Uh, the A1 AOE has a 2.3 attack. It's pretty weak. It's definitely not godlike at 2.3. I know it's a basic skill, but it's still a weak uh, uh, a weak uh, multiplier. The A2 with a double hit had a 1.9 godlike. Hell no. How is that godlike at 3.8, uh, uh, you know? So definitely not godlike because it's not ignoring anything in here except unkillable and block damage. But after the changes, because everything goes up, every multiplier will be increased on all of her skills on both of the forms. She's 100% going to be much better. Not only uh, that she will block, block revive, but with the second form, now she actually has a chance to counter champions that put block damage on themselves. The problem is the affinity. If we're talking about other mythical champions like Siegfried, if we're talking about champions like Nice that puts block damage, uh, weak affinity, but hey, if you hit hard enough and uh, the RNG is not, uh, uh, not against you, you are going to basically obliterate the, the enemies. Then this was one of the vanilla, uh, vanilla mythical champion. We have another vanilla mythical champion right here, which is Frolny the Mechanist. The kit is actually pretty good on this champion. The main thing that he was struggling with was the damage, just not bringing in enough damage. So basically, they will keep the exact same skills, but he will get a buff on all of the multipliers, on every single skill, and that is actually great. At the moment, the multipliers on him are definitely not good. Uh, you have strong at 0 0.28 HP. That's definitely not strong when Magnar has a 0 0.22 double hit. So almost double than him. An epic champion. So this is not, not strong. Uh, Godlike at 0 0.24 HP attacks one enemy. Uh, no, that's definitely not uh, godlike. And then we have weak at 0 0.18. Yes, everything should be kind of like on the weak uh, on the weak side in uh, in here, but they will all get a buff, which is great. And probably a lot of you guys might have this champion. And I know a lot of you guys are using him. Uh, initially, he was the worst mythical out of all of them. But then Plarium introduced new mythical champions that became weaker and weaker and weaker. So Frolny, overall, he's not the worst mythical in the, in the game uh, anymore. So definitely pretty... Uh, pretty awesome that they are finally uh, giving him a, a bit of a buff. The more important thing on the rebalance is actually Aphidus, the Hive Lord, guys. So I'm not sure why the UI even on their website is so much smaller now. Uh, maybe it got a bit of a, <laughs> it got a bit of a rework as well on here. But either way, he is going to get some very very nice uh, changes. So with the A1, he will have a chance to land the defense down, and he will place a perfect veil buff on himself. Now, I actually summoned him not a long time ago. Uh, as promised, I will fight till they buff every single mythical. And there we go. We got a few of them uh, sorted so far. Now I think he will be very strong for the Hydra Clan boss. I'm looking forward to try him out because the second skill. Now he will attack all enemies. Before that, he will place an increased attack on all allies. So you don't really have to worry about uh, somebody else to bring in the increased attack. We'll ignore 25% of the target's defense if they are not under a HP burn. If they are under a HP burn, he will ignore 50% of the target's defense, which is going to be massive. Then, of course, he will increase the duration of all enemy debuffs by one turn. And he will get a buff on the multipliers as well. At the moment, his multipliers are very weak. 3.2 is weak, weak sauce, okay, for an AoE. It's super weak. Uh, considering that you have Astrolon, you have Foley, and a lot of other legendary champions or even epic champions with a 4.0 multiplier, and that is considered weak comparing him with other big boy nukers. Uh, 3.2 is awful. So I'm hoping to see a 4.2 uh, on the multipliers for him right here. Uh, even um, a 4.0 might get the job done, but I'm hoping to see a bit more than uh, more than that. Uh, on the A3, he has a 3.5 attack. Again, is an AOE attack, a super weak multiplier. I, I'm not sure why they're calling this godlike. You know, like they have uh, they have a lot of the things off here with the 
with the multipliers. Like these are not godlike or strong multipliers. They must be having some form of an average, but definitely pretty weak multipliers uh, for a for a nuker, you know. So that's actually great. Um, with the A3 now, he will attack all enemies. Damage increases by 25% against targets under any debuffs, which is again very very nice. He will have uh, the multipliers increased. Instantly activates any HP burn debuffs on each enemy. And if an enemy is not under an uh, HP burn debuff, places an HP burn debuff on them for two turns. So if you're not able to bring in a different champion that will land the HP burn, you can basically just have accuracy on him and he will get the job done. Then on the second form, uh, they've changed quite a few things. Attacks one enemy, places an increased accuracy buff on the ally with the highest accuracy for two turns and fills their turn meter by 10%. Then the A2 attacks all enemies, places a stun debuff on all enemies for one turn and will put a continuous heal buff on all allies for two turns. Then the A3 places a provoke debuff on all enemies for one turn and will place a strengthen and an increased defense buff on all allies for two turns. So you definitely have uh, a good support form right here and a good damage form on the other one so he's definitely much much better than he used to be i just hope that the multipliers are strong enough once we're gonna get the data mine information tomorrow guys i'm gonna share those with uh, you in discord when attacked has a chance to place a weaken uh and a 40 percent chance to place a stun on the attacker for one turn that's actually really really nice of course for arena is not necessarily the best thing because it's definitely a polymorph magnet with a with a passive, but for PvE content, he's going to be a freaking monster. Like, I cannot wait to try him in a, in the Hydra Clan boss, guys. As I mentioned, I will be live on my channel on YouTube uh, right now. So definitely check that out. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Uh, are you excited for any of these mythical buffs? Uh, are you going for the Tor Fusion? And uh, yes, as mentioned, we are back on business, guys. So uh, keep an eye on uh, the channel for... Uh, for more videos dropping in the next uh, in the next couple of days as usual much love appreciate all of you guys watching and i'll catch you all in the next one peace